Welcome back guys. This is Trailer Rob and today I want to talk to you about build or bust. Is a budget build or is this a bust? This is the first AR-15 that I ever bought. The first AR-15 uh, AR um, that I uh, <clears throat> was able to um, try to uh, build, you know, or or uh, add things to. I did um, do some upgrades, um, but most of it is really just adding parts on this one. I really didn't do a whole lot of uh, I'm building, I guess. But <clears throat> the question still would be, is it um, a budget build or a bust? So, um, before we get started, um, if you can hit that like, share, and subscribe, it would be great. You can see that this gun is loaded uh, with many different upgrades and many different parts, but it really don't have a, a true direction of what I was trying to um, accomplish. And so that's why I, I kind of wanted to talk to you guys today, um, you know, briefly on things that um, you should or shouldn't do when you um, when you attempt to um, build a rifle. Um, so one of the things, uh, uh, probably the first thing that you want to ask yourself is, what am I going to do with this rifle? What, uh, what is the purpose of this rifle? And this uh, is the purpose of this rifle uh, home defense? Is the purpose hunting? Is the purpose like just going out to the range, sport shooting, competition? What? Right, ask yourself, what are you trying to do? Is this a long range, short range? All these different uh, questions that you want to just have a clear vision of where you're trying to go with uh, with your uh, rifle. And then uh, you wanna ask uh, when you start buying the uh, parts, is these parts practical for um, for your weapon? Am I gonna need a, a bipod on here? Am I gonna need um, um, a fake suppressor? Am I gonna need, do I need it or do I just want it? Is it just for looks? You know, um, what, why, why, why do I really need that? Um, one of the things it's also it's a fake suppressor, but it's also help compensates with the weight of it to help compensate your recoil to help you get back on target. So you got to ask yourself stuff like that. Am, am, am I going to be you know target shooting? Uh, do I need to get back on target quick? Um, do I need that extra weight on the front end? And then you got you got your weapon light, and you got to ask yourself. Uh, um, Am I, if I'm hunting with this, it's, it's a good to have it on there. And if I'm doing home defense, it's good to have a weapon light on there. And you got your laser. You also have your laser on there. Um, like, you also got uh, your, your laser on there. And that laser is a good because, um, again, if you're hunting at nighttime or home defense, all these different things, 
that laser could be good to have on there. And of course, um, the red dot on the top, if this here scope get knocked out, glass get broken, it's good to have that red dot as, a, as another uh, sight. Also, your flip up sights, you got your flip up sights like this uh, on, the, on the front and back. And, and it's good to have in case your batteries go dead, your laser don't work, your scope is broken, and you can always count on your good old, um, good old flip up sights or your iron sights. So those are some things to think about. You also you want to think about what are the benefits of the products that I have. What is what is the pros and cons? It's like uh, you got to ask: Does this help? Does it help me? Um, or does it um, just take away? Is it um, is, is it too much, or is it not is it not an, enough for what I need? Um, you got to ask yourself uh, what is what is uh, good about it. You know, do, it's like this bipod here is going to help you with stability. You got your angle grip right here that's going to help you um, when you um, holding it um, 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 off off a um, off a table, or if you holding it. Um, in order to shoot something, give you just give you a lot better grip, um, especially when you got like a quad rail like this here. That's really rough on the hands. It's good to have like a, a, a angle grip like that right, uh, right there. Uh, probably one of the uh, um, one of the biggest upgrades I got on this gun for, um, is the trigger. And the trigger uh, that I chose was the CMC trigger. It's a um, single stage um, trigger. It's about three pounds two to three pounds um, I'll pull on it and it's a really really nice trigger uh, I can see if I can get so you can see right here when you pull that no take up bam and when you reset reset is really short and so it's a really nice trigger super nice trigger um, and then um, you got, um, you know, I did, um, every, yeah, the, the, crowd, uh, the quad wheel, um, the light, the bipod, the hand grip, um, the um, charging handle, scope, um, you know, the stock, even the pistol grip, changed the pistol grip out, just did all kind of stuff. So, with that being said, you got to ask yourself, does the cost justify the means? Um, does the cost justify the means of what I'm using this for? I use this gun for hog hunting. Now, the thing was, I used it for hog hunting, and I found as I was walking around this ranch that this gun was probably over overweight, you know. So I had a lot of weight on it, and 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 then I really didn't need every everything that I put on it for hog hunting, right? So I, so um, some of this stuff is, was not practical for what I was doing. If I'm just using it for hog hunting, I probably don't need all of these things that I that I got on here, you know? I just probably don't need all of all of all of this here this here stuff on here, right? Now uh, the trigger <laughs> It's nice. So if you, as, as, as the trigger practical, um, but it's probably overdone for the price of the gun. So does the cost really justify the mean? Probably not on that right there. So, but I have used it, and um, but the question, the question I have is, is it a, is it a good budget bill for my, the use that I was using it for, or was it a bust? Now. After evaluating it, if you know, I looked at the price of everything, um, the, the gun itself was I paid three hundred seventy nine dollars. This was back in twenty twenty. Paid three seventy nine for the gun. Then um, uh, the trigger, the trigger alone was two hundred and fifty dollars. So if I paid two hundred fifty dollars for the trigger and for a four hundred dollar gun, then it probably don't justify the means. I mean, it, it up, really upgrades it, but honestly, do you really need uh, that much trigger uh, for for this gun? And for when I was on the mil spec trigger, it wasn't really bad. But what I didn't like about the, uh, the uh, that the ATI had was the um, the trigger 
that they had in there was uh, polymer. And, and I know it's got a polymer upper and lower, but um, this here upper uh, is, is reinforced with aluminum um, in the spots where it needs to be reinforced. And then um, and the lower is reinforced with aluminum, um, you know, around the, um, the, um, the buffer tube area. And, uh, you know, and so it's got, they took the time to put the reinforcements they need. But what the trigger that they had was was um, it was polymer. I didn't like that, and also the uh, safety uh, that they had on here wasn't um, the safety wasn't uh, wasn't um, metal. It was uh, polymer too. So I changed those things out to um, to metal. You know. Um. So anyway. Um, so, so we're looking at, um, that right there, the scope, the scope, I uh, paid, um, uh, 195 roughly for that. Then you start looking at the rest of the stuff wasn't that expensive. Um, the quad, quad rail was probably like 40, the light 40, you know, um, what I got, the um, bipod was like $40, the pistol grip around 20, 30 bucks, you know. The suppressor was like about 30 bucks. The full suppressor was like 30 bucks. Gun light, another 40 bucks. Overall, you know, overall, I probably paid right around $1,100 for the gun, right? $1,100 gun, and I got all of this, right? But, again, was the, question, the question is, was it a budget or a bus? And I'm going to say, um, you know, even though I love this gun and I like it, it's my first AR, I'm going to say that it was a bust. It was a bust. I, I, I would say it was a bust. And um, so right now I'm, 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 I'm doing a, my second try at building uh, an AR. And this one is going to be a 762 by 39 uh, AR. And um, I'm going to try to think, I'm thinking it out a lot more. I'm thinking about what I want to buy, what I want to put on there. Um, not just buying, every, you know, every little thing, because you don't have to put everything uh, on on one gun. You know, I mean, you want this gun to be, uh, you want every gun that you have to have a purpose. You want every gun that you have to have, then you know, be able to perform in in, in whatever situation you got. And I think right here was the bust was that I probably went over because I didn't really have a, a real view, a, a real um, a vision of what I wanted the end product to be. So I kind of just went random and was just adding, uh, adding things, um, um, more of what I thought would look cool or more of what I thought um, um, I would want. And I ended up putting probably um, way too much stuff on this here gun. You know, but you know, it's a learning experience, and that's what it's all about. It's kind of like a hobby, huh? And so you wanna, you wanna have fun doing it. You wanna have fun doing it, but you also wanna stay practical at the same time. So anyway, that's all I really have. Like I said, the question was budget or bust. Put your uh, comments in the um, um, in the comment section.